Android Studio 3.0 is a major release, and with it, we're also releasing version 3 of the Android Gradle plugin. It is based on new Gradle APIs, supports variant aware dependency resolution, and can greatly speed up multi module builds. Unfortunately, you might have to make some updates to your Gradle configuration when switching to the new plugin version. It's just a few steps, and it's well worth the effort. You'll end up with a more maintainable build file and a faster build. When you first open your existing project in Android Studio 3, you will be prompted to update the Android plugin version. We also require, at minimum, Gradle 4.1, and this will be automatically fixed for you too. If you want to make these changes manually, you need to check two places. First, in the main build Gradle file, change AGP version to 3.0. Next, open the Gradle wrapper properties file and edit the URL to point to 4.1. By the way, as an optional step, you can add the new Google Maven repository to your main build file. We use it to distribute our build artifacts, such as the support library, and with the latest Gradle version, you can simply refer to it with the Google keyword. If you try to compile your app now with the new plugin, and you are using flavors in your modules, you will most probably get this error. Previously, flavor dimensions were optional. In order to make resolving flavors and library modules more robust, you are now required to specify a dimension for each flavor. The Android Gradle plugin will automatically use a matching flavor from consumed libraries if it can find one. If the library defines flavor dimensions which are not present in your main build file, you have to make an explicit selection using the new missing dimensions strategy statement in the module consuming the library, listing the flavors you'd like to match in order. And conversely, if a library module does not have a flavor that matches one defined in your app, you will have to specify a fallback. Use the matching fallbacks keyword in the app's flavor definition, followed by the possible flavor names that will be selected from library modules. You can do the same for build types whenever the app includes a build type that a library dependency does not. A nice side effect of these changes is that you no longer have to specify which variant you want to consume when depending on a library module. You should remove these extra lines from the dependencies section and just include the library once. You can also remove Publish Non-Default True from library modules. For external dependencies, it's still fine to use a variant specifier if you only want it to be added to certain builds. By the way, there's one more detail here that changed. Android Plugin 3 is adopting new dependency configurations introduced in Gradle. As you can see in the table here, this is just a name change for most dependency types. Compile becomes API, and Provided becomes Compile Only. However, there is one new configuration called implementation, which, when applied correctly, can result in significant build time improvements. You should prefer using the implementation configuration whenever a module only uses the dependency internally and doesn't intend to leak its API to other modules. That way, whenever the dependency changes, you limit the number of modules that would otherwise have to be recompiled. These are the basic changes that every Android project should make when migrating to Android Gradle Plugin 3. More migration scenarios are covered in our documentation, such as when handling annotation processors or using the variant API to access build outputs. So please take a look at the link in the description. And thanks for watching.